Now for a minute and a half, Miss James. My contribution uh, to today's debate will utilise my experience as a former non-executive director of a UK stock exchange listed company, a venture capital trust, as a board chair and finally as a charity board trustee. Now the dimension that this EU policy does not address is that endemic through the business community is the aspect of not what you know, but who you know. Even the international recruitment sector responsible for people's search acknowledges this depressing situation. Thus, whilst we all want to see more women take board or other influential roles in companies, the reality conspires against that outcome. The issues at stake are not about merit, experience and qualifications. They are about transparency of the recruitment process and the contribution that quality recruitment will and could make. Gender is completely immaterial and by introducing quotas, then the fight against discrimination becomes skewed by discrimination. Forcing companies to adopt 40% gender quotas, penalising them if they do not, is hardly responsible or even realistic legislation. Now, if the EU truly wants to address then the situation, then go back to the drawing board, please, and tackle the misogynist establishment, which utilises the old boy network, across Europe. I cannot support this. Thank you.